Press the folder icon on the top right to activate a directory view. You won't just be seeing images and video now, you'll also see folders. Click on an image or video or shift click to select more than one and press the add to folder button at the bottom. To create a new folder, simply type whatever you want to name it and press this folder icon or enter. The images you had selected will now be there. You can also nest folders inside other folders to create a directory structure. Just select images from anywhere on the dataset. It doesn't have to be from a parent folder. You can help yourself by making the icons bigger and selecting the images you need. Then again, add to folder. This time we will type in a path, burger slash fries. This will create a fries folder inside the burger folder. If the burger folder didn't exist beforehand, it would have created one. You can view the nested structure of your folder by clicking on the add to folder button. Clicking on any of these entries will add your images to them. You can also send images back to the root directory by clicking on the top entry. Folders can be toggled on and off as a view. So if you prefer to see all images and video at the same time and filter from there, you can always turn this off. It's a handy feature to replicate the directory structure of legacy datasets or to organize data with labels that wouldn't serve classification purposes, such as camera views or batches. You can always use them to bundle data and classify it from there. Note that folders don't affect your exports in any way, nor do they prevent annotators from labeling images within them.